What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth. Um, I'm ready to go to the doctor in Birmingham. So I figured y'all might want to go. So come along and enjoy the ride. Whew, boy, it's hot in here. Um, for anybody who tuned in, who didn't tune into my live last night, please go check out my Bunnet website. Um, and if any, to all the people who purchased the Bunnet, thank you guys so much. And it's hot. Oh, hold on. My bunnets are right now on sale on my website, so please go check my bunnets out. I reduced the price, and also you get free shipping. So um, check out my site. And thanks. Thank you guys for your purchase. Okay, ready to ride? It's hot. Why are you bringing up? Woo. I, I don't know. It's we I'm already sweating. Look at this. Oh, let me cool off, y'all. I'll be back. I told you I'd record. See. Got lunch. Had lunch today because I didn't feel like we broke now, so I ain't get to stop and get to eat. <laughs> I bought a lunch with me because I be hungry when I ride. You can bring Bob banana, and then I got this sandwich. Take the top of the bread off, and I got some strawberries in there. What I cut up, strawberries. Finally made it. It's real congested up in here. And there we go right there. Hazel Rig Salter. Then I go to the Women and Infant Center. Um going to the infusion center this time. Not Hazel Rig. So there it is. Finally made it here. That's the oncology. That's the um, radi radiation oncology center right there where I went the last time. But this time I have to go to the other side. Women and Infant Center right here. We're going on this side. And it is. Where the fuck you at right here? Yeah, they know me as a man. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, guys, Wick Infusion Center, uh, Wick Infusion, whatever it's called, it's called the Infusion Center, um, on the 10th floor, um, uh, University of Alabama, UAB, in Birmingham, so, I'm sitting in the car, kind of, like, meditating, I need some, like, alone time, my husband already know, he, he gets out, I sit in the car, chill for a minute, talk to talk to God, talk to myself, get myself amped up to go in, because it's, it's real hard, I get stressed out, I try my best 
try my best to stay strong it's real real hard to do so so i just have to push real real hard to to just try not to break down because every time it's like this every every time and i, I be trying to because the last it's like the last time three months ago i said this time i'm gonna be i'm gonna go in there i'm gonna be happy and i'm just gonna go in there and i'm just gonna be smiling and i can't I try to so hard. Like, I be trying so hard to go in here happy, and it just seemed like the I feel the weight on my shoulders. It's, you know, I can't, I don't know how to explain it, but I be trying so hard to just be in this, this good mindset. It's not that I'm in a bad mindset, but I still, I feel, I feel the anxiety, you know what I'm saying, kick in, but... And I be trying to make it go away. But the thing is, I don't know. I guess that's just a, a normal human thing because I'm not sure how that works. But I be trying so hard to be um, positive and to feel good. It's not that I'm negative. I'm just saying, be smiling and stuff. But it's so hard because my stomach right now, my st stomach is like turning in circles because I feel the nervousness and what I should not have done what i don't usually do is i don't usually pack like a lunch or whatever i don't usually pack no lunch and i packed a lunch this time before because i was eating because my nerves was bad so i was trying to keep my nerves from being bad so now i am i feel nauseous i feel like i'm gonna throw up at any given moment that's what i feel and i i don't want to you know i don't know i just feel some type of way about in my in my body i don't not some type of way i don't know the right words to say i feel nauseous like i feel anxiety and i that's what i feel um but at the same time i just really want to go in there and get it over with i just want to go in and get it over with a little bit nervous as always um and i advise anybody who's going through this boy whoosh, Try your best to stay in a positive spirit. It's, it it gets hard, but my doctor always, my last doctor, he said it gets easier with time. Every time you have another visit, the the more visits you have, the easier it gets. But I'm waiting for the, my easy days to come, y'all. My easy days is coming soon. My easy days is coming. So what in the world? He, um, oh, this man must have dropped some child. Yeah, my easy days are coming. So let me see what time it is. It's one forty-eight. My appointment is at two. Um, I'm walking at one fifty-five because they don't be on time, and I have to wait forever anyway. Alrighty, step down. Okay. Okay, y'all. So I made it to the room, so I can wait talk to you guys in a second so that's ned right that's ned <laughs> ned no right. evidence Good. of disease great <laughs> thank you you're welcome oh. we'll see y'all in six months all right unless you yeah. have any other questions concerns nope. i just wanted to hear you say that yeah but you call us if you notice any changes okay i will you know stick with the dilator and okay and the force all right Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys. You heard it for yourself. You heard it for yourself. Do I have to repeat it? <laughs> no evidence of disease. Thank God. Thank God. Another three months. Boy. I'm relieved. I'm relieved. Ooh, I don't even know what else to say. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my video. And that's all I got to say. Thank you. Don't forget to go check out my website, goldencreations.web.com.